In question 9, we are given this figure 6.39 that you see here and the problem statement says ABC and AMP are two right triangles right angled at B and M respectively. Okay, so we have to prove in the first part that triangle ABC is similar to triangle AMP. So triangle ABC is this triangle that I've highlighted and triangle AMP is this second triangle that I've highlighted and we have to show that these two triangles are similar. This part is actually very easy. We just need to compare the angles of these triangles. So we see that this angle at A, this is common to both the triangles and in triangle ABC, this angle is 90 and in triangle AMP, this angle is 90. So we can apply the AA similarity to get the two triangles as similar. So let's write this part one. We have angle BAC equal to angle MAP in the second triangle. Why? Because this is basically the same angle. So we can write the reason as common. So it's this angle. Then we have angle APC in the first triangle equal to angle AMP P in the second triangle because both of these angles are equal to 90 degrees. Therefore, we can say that triangle ABC must be similar to the second triangle AMP and observe the correspondence of the vertices correctly. Make sure that you get it right. Now in part 2, we have to prove that CA by PA is equal to BC by MP. So this part simply says that two pairs of sides of triangle ABC and triangle AMP are proportional. And this follows automatically from the first part because we have proven in the first part that ABC is similar to AMP. So their sides definitely have to be in proportion. So the first ratio is CA by PA, which is CA this side in the first triangle by PA this side in the second triangle and the second ratio is BC by MP. So let's see, BC is this side in the first triangle, MP is this side in the second triangle. So these two ratios definitely have to be equal simply because uh, the two triangles are similar. So let's write this anyway. So we have CA by PA, the first ratio must be equal to BC by MP and the reason for this is simply because of part one, because triangle ABC is similar to triangle AMP. So the sides must be in proportion. So by the way, an easy way to write equality of ratios of corresponding sides is to use the similarity relation itself. How? So if we take CA in the first triangle like this C to A, then correspondingly we will get PA in the second triangle. So the first ratio becomes CA by PA. Similarly, if we take BC in the first triangle like this BC, then correspondingly we will get MP in the second triangle. So we will get the ratio BC by MP. So this is an easy way to write the equality of ratios of corresponding sides using the similarity relation itself. Okay, so with that, we, com we have completed question number 9. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.